Hello everyone, this is Rushida. Welcome to my channel. My today's video is going to be an extension of my last video on logistic regression. In my last video, we worked on a binary classification problem. And in this video, we are going to work on a multi-class classification problem. And we are going to work on a image classification using the famous Fashion MNIST dataset. Let's look at the dataset. Here is the dataset. Look, the dataset looks like this. The first column is the label. Here the label ranges from 0 to 9 and they represent these fashion items. 0 represents a t-shirt, 1 represents a trouser, pullover dress, 9 represents an ankle boot, 8 represents a bag, and so on. And you can see the rest of the columns are the pixel values. You can see the rest of the columns are pixel values. Look, in the first row, we have the label 2. That means, that means it's pullover. And these pixels, it means it's the pixel values of a picture of pullover. After you train this model, if you input the picture of any of these items, the model should be able to detect it. And definitely, before you input a picture to a machine learning model, you have to convert it to a pixel values. But luckily for this data set, we already have the pictures in the pixel form. Soon I'm going to show you how these pixel forms can form a picture. I have the link of this data set in the description box below. Please feel free to click on this download button and download these files. And look at it, we have Fashion MNIST Train and Fashion MNIST Test. Two separate data set here for training and testing. So we are going to use Fashion MNIST Train for training the model and Fashion MNIST Test for testing or evaluating the model. I already downloaded the data set and I already have them saved in the same folder as this notebook. So I'm just going to start right now. So import pandas as PD. Now let's get the training data set pd.readcsv. Fashion image train.csv. Look at training data set. So we have 60,000 rows of data for training purpose. And you can see we have the label first and then 784 columns and they are all pixel values. Now the test pd not read csv fashion mnist test dot csv test here is the test data set we have 10,000 rows of data as test data set in last few videos we had to use the train test split method to split the data set for training and testing but here we already have it arranged we have training data set separate and testing separate. We just have to separate the X and Y. So for, for training, here X is going to be all the pixels and Y is the label. So it's very clear. So X train dot drop columns label and sorry, not X. I will use the X train. Y train is going to be train label. X test test dot drop columns label. Y test test label. So we have X test, X train, Y test, Y train, ready? And let's see how X train looks first. Here is how X train looks. Look, we have only the pixel values in the X, right? Now, before diving into the model, I want to see some of the pictures, how the pictures actually look like. For convenience, I'm just going to first convert this x train this data frame to a list x train dot values dot to list so x train 
list. You can see it is converted to a two-dimensional list. Now I'm going to import NumPy, NumPy as NP. We will need NumPy because, look, each of the image's pixel values are just one-dimensional. We're going to reshape them as three-dimensional before we will be able to use and make it the image. So we we'll need matplotlib import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt. plt dot show np dot reshape x clean list. Let's take the first one, 0, and now we are going to reshape it to 28 by 28 by 1. Let's see. Look, the first label, what we had, first label as, the first label was a 2. So let's see what 2 is. 2 is a pullover. So you can see this is a pullover. Let's see this one, 59999. It says that the label is 7. Okay. I'll just copy and paste. 59999. Okay, it says label 7, right? Label was 7. Label 7 was a sneaker. So we saw it's a sneaker's picture. Let's see some more uh, 12 it's an apple boot then what about 20 20 looks like a handbag so you see some of the pictures how they look like let's dive into the logistic regression problem first from sklearn dot linear model import logistic regression Next step is going to be just save an instance of logistic regression model and also train the dataset in the same line. Logistic regression, random state uh, 12, dot fit x train y train. Model training is done, and remember, model training may take a little bit of time because we have 60,000 rows of data. And we have a little bit of warning here, but we can ignore it. Let's see what is the accuracy of the model. Log reg dot score x train y train is 86%. Look, 86% of the time, this model can detect any of these images correctly. But let's check actually how well it works on the test set. Y test, 85%, pretty good. Okay, let's check the model another way. Dot predict uh, X queen list. I'll give three. Okay, we have to put in another bracket. It says zero. So let's check. So I gave three, right? And it's zero. So it predicted correctly. In the same way, feel free to test with some of the X test data as well. You will have a lot of fun. Also feel free to try some of the other parameters of the logistic regression model that I demonstrated in my last video. If you haven't watched my last video on binary classification using logistic regression, please feel free to check. I have the link in the description box below. And that's all for today. If you like this video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much.